Hey, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Don, um, your favorite vlogger, favorite dancer, and all that. <laughs> but no, listen, check this out. I started a brand new segment where I do a review and commentary on uh, my favorite videos as far as music, games, movies, commercials, TV shows, anime, and so much more. And uh, this is gonna be my first one. So if you like this video after watching this, please make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment for me, okay? And I wanna be able to do these every single week, giving you my opinion on my favorite topics to touch on, okay? All right, so the first uh, artist I would like to uh, do a review on is uh, James Blake and his music video, Retrograde. Now, about 10 years ago, I had got, uh, I have, got a chance to be introduced to James Blake. Thanks to a close friend of mine, we was practicing, dancing together, and he said, hey, I have some music for you, and I want you to check this out. And he said, I'm about to dance to the song, but I think this other song right here might be great for you. So he plays a song called Willem Screen that he was about to perform to. Fell in love with it right away. Then he played Limit to Your Love, blew my mind out the way. So now I'm already in love with this artist's uh, music. I think it's wonderful, I think it's amazing. And I just start listening to it every single day. Every time I could find something that was James Blake, I was looking for it. As time goes by, you know, uh, I end up listening to James Blake Retrograde. Now I already have heard the song already. And the song and the lyrics already is definitely amazing to me. The sound of his voice, and for me as a dancer, I pay attention to the textures and I pay attention to how the, the, the artist is singing, how he is approaching the song. I pay attention to that because that's going to really make me think about how I'm going to perform this song. So now I see the music video and I'm already trying to figure out, you know, you know how he's going to put this video into a perspective that people can see visually because he's already different in a great way. So now we get to the video and he has a media rocket coming down. He has, uh, he has a young woman on a motorcycle watching this meteor rock. And it seems like to me in the video, it seems like she was in a, in a, on a way to a house. I don't know if it was a friend's home or her home herself, but it seems like time has slowed down. And as you can tell, as the rock is getting closer to earth, the rocks and soil is floating. So you can tell something as bad is about to happen to the world. But as she's trying to let people know that something is coming, she noticed people are dancing and she noticed a young lady is doing sign language as she is sitting in the middle of a hallway um, by a door and she just starts to dance and then boom, it explodes. The meteor rocket lands in the backyard of the house and it seems like instead of it being like an explosion of just corruption and just danger, instead, everyone is stuck in time and the gravity has absolutely changed on earth now there's so many ways to take that in a different matter because artists when we see things like this that's abstract and different with it we were able to dissect the video and take our own way of thinking at it for me i thought of many things maybe that this meteor rocket wasn't going to destroy the world but it was going to change the way speed and time was set up on earth like i said before there's so many ways to take this song it's just all about who you are as an artist james blake has a way of making music that really make you think and make you want to dig more into the song and when he drops a visual you can't wait because it feels like there's a chance for you to see what he sees in his mind and I think one thing that's important for me as an artist is I always want to see these creators in the world be able to you know especially musicians like especially singers and rappers to be able to make a song and make a video that let us know what they was visualizing when they put this song together. And, and it's even better when you have great uh, videography and filmmakers behind the video to bring this song to life. And I think that's so important. So for me as a, as a, a creator, a performer, a dancer, I was able to listen to the song and the video and put it together and be able to create so many perspectives to it. It's one of the reasons why this song to this day still hits me the way it does. Now this album, uh, Overgrown, is one of my favorite albums, you know, and so to hear Retrograde 
it already letting me know where this album was going to go. It was going to take you to a whole nother place mentally. So when you when you when you sit back and listen to this music, um, turn the volume all the way up. All right. When you watch the video, turn the volume all the way up and just sit back and watch it and just kind of let me know in the comments, what was your perspective when you listened to this song and what was your perspective when you watched the video? Because for me, there was maybe three to five different ways I was automatically looking at this video. You know, um, I even asked myself, was they really on earth when that rocket hit? Was this a different type of universe that we have never been on? We don't really know, but see, that is the part that's fun. It's because it's a chance for you to watch a video, listen to the song, and have your own perspective. The storyline is, you know, it's not that really hard to catch on to. You see a rocket, you're going to a house, and you're going to a house to maybe give out a warning, but instead, something else happens. All right, y'all, so look. Um, every week I want to do reaction and commentary videos like this. So if you actually enjoy this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Tell me where your mind is at when you listen to the song. Um, if you want to check out the full video, you can check it out right here. But this is just my authentic opinion about how I felt about James Blake's video. I would like to give this video a rate of between one through 10. For me, because I love abstract, I would have gave it a 9.5. I love different perspectives and I love quality music. That's a big thing for me. So, I love the video, I love the song, I love the album, Overgrown, James Blake. Peace.